Hello friends, this is my YouTube channel called PowerPoint University. You can find more than 200 plus video tutorials which are absolutely free and I have provided the download link for each video in the video description section. And if you need any assistance or help, you can contact me through WhatsApp on this number. And as usual, I need your support to make my content free. You can donate any amount as you like, which will help me to make more free content. Thank you for your support. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a business infographic slide. This is how the slide looks. I have added text called the project manager and then there is a icon, a bell icon with the deadline and then there's some text and then there's a visuals, timings, cash flow and schedule and at the sides I have added two curved shapes. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. These are the prerequisites to make this slide. You need PowerPoint 2013 and above version. You need to have the understanding of basic merge shapes. And I recommend you to watch my free PowerPoint training videos. And you need to have a five different icons which you can download from the nonproject.com and one building image in PNG format. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide. Go to view. Enable the guides. Go to insert. Shapes select a oval shape draw the oval shape and make the height and width as 2.3 inches and shape fill make it no fill and align center and align middle go to insert again shapes select the oval shape again make the oval shape size 0.2 height and point to width make it no outline and shape fill give the orange color and place the orange color here press ctrl D to add one more one more goes here and alignment we can do later I'm going to add five total. And this is the last one. All right. Then go to insert shapes, select a connector, elbow, draw a connector and right mouse click, connector type, make it curved connector. So it something comes like this, press control D, add one more. So once this is done, so I have added the five different connectors to this, then go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw the rectangle, shape outline, make it no outline and give the orange color. and you can add the text here for example here I'm just going to say a deadline or any other text which you want you can add it here I'm going to choose the font called Oswald and you can make it somewhat loose and color 
add any dark blue color align it center and select both these objects and press ctrl G to group it likewise add all five Now once this is done, go to insert, shapes, select the rectangle and cover the rectangle, whole slide, shape outline, make it no outline, right mouse click, go to format shape and color, you can select any dark color and give some transparency effect and send this to back. Then you are going to add one more shape, again one more rectangle, you added one more rectangle, picture fill, by default that image I have already selected or you can go to the file and select any images you like here. So once this is done, again copy this whole slide and start sending back all right then we have the icons here now select all these icons copy it and paste it here and add each icon towards the the text next to the text and once this is done you can copy the text here so you can go to insert text you can type your own text here make it the color to white reduce the font size center align and copy below duplicate it copy below of each point and then you can change the text one by one I have changed the text and now this circle is not visible so give some nice colors and this one you can give some gray color and press F4 key to repeat it and add one more oval shape press ctrl d reduce the size change the color to orange line color to orange and align center align middle and then you can add the text here i will just say project manager center align make it white change the font to any of your favorite font increase the size and put it in the center and i'm just going to select the manager and going to change the color to orange and I'm going to add the heading press ctrl D to duplicate and this one will be I'll say business infographic increase the size 
and this one I'm going to make it orange and increase the size further so we have almost done with the design and then we need to add the a curve shape at the sides duplicate this slide go to the slide select the side right mouse click and say duplicate slide and delete all the internal contents and then go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle like this shape outline make it no outline and go to insert shapes select a right triangle again make it no outline rotate flip horizontal select both these objects and merge shapes say union right mouse click and say edit points select the below point and drag it inside select the point at the top and drag this also inside make something shape like this and select this press ctrl D to duplicate increase the size and give a yellow color or orange and send this to back right mouse click the orange one edit points and you can select the point and bring it inside and then a little bit you can drag outside or if you want you can just zoom in and select like this adjust it properly till you get the right curve now I think this is okay then select this object say gradient fill I have used two different colors uh, indigo color and here it's dark blue color select both of these objects ctrl G to group it ctrl D to duplicate it and rotate it the other side flip horizontal and then flip vertical and bring this side here copy this both shapes control C and paste it here can you see this one now let's see how it looks in the slideshow so this is how the slide looks we got the business infographics then we have added the deadlines here visuals timings cash flow and schedule and here I've added two curves if you want you can change uh, you can add more text here or you can have some different text if you want it is fully editable slide That's it from me friends, thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff, till then goodbye.